Make new appointment. Customers call in to make an appointment, tell you what they need, and when they would like to come in. The Make New Appointment feature captures the customer's needs, puts their vehicle on the schedule, and provides you an opportunity to upsell the job from their recommended services. Let's take a look. There are a couple of ways to start the appointment wizard. Just click on the Make New Appointment button on the side toolbar, or you could click the Options button and select Make New Appointment from the drop list, or you could press the Insert key, select Make New Appointment, and click OK. Note here that you can search by various parameters. Just click the corresponding radio button. We'll search by last name. Enter the first few letters of their last name and press Enter. If the customer you are looking for was not on the list, you could click the Add Customer button and start the Add a New Customer Wizard to create a new customer record. Highlight the name and click Next, or just press the Enter key. Again, if the vehicle has not been to the shop before, you would just click the Add Vehicle button to create a new vehicle record. Select the vehicle for the appointment, and we'll pick the Saturn, and press Enter. A Quotes Available prompt will open, stating there are existing quotes available for this vehicle that can be accessed from the repair order. Really, it's just a reminder to look once the repair order is started. Just click the OK button to acknowledge the message, and this is the appointment information screen. The phone number is the first field highlighted to verify their phone number, and then you can select or add a second phone number. And keep in mind the Tab button works really well on this screen. You can select which driver from this customer record drives this vehicle, but the appointment is still in the selected customer's name. Note we can have multiple drivers assigned to one customer record, a spouse, children, parents. Now enter the appointment date or click the Select button to choose from the calendar. Enter the appointment time or choose from the drop list by clicking the down arrow to the right and enter the promise date and promise time, when you plan on having the vehicle ready for pickup. You can leave the work status as appointment. Now if the customer is going to wait for their vehicle, check the customer waiting box to display waiting in red type on the service counter when they come in for their appointment. This is a cool feature to keep the customer's vehicle a top priority. If you keep using the tab button, select the service writer for this job. Click the select button, choose from the list, then enter a quoted price for the job if a price quote was given to the customer, and the quoted hours. By entering quoted hours here, you are reserving that many hours on the appointment calendar for this job on that appointment date. And here we select the technician. Enter the technician 1, the primary technician assigned to the job by clicking the select button. Now this technician's initials will be automatically assigned to all labor services added to that repair order. You can select a second technician if applicable, and just note that all the labor hours now will be split equally between the two technicians that you picked. If your shop uses numbered key tags or hats, it's entered here, but you might want to wait till they drop off their vehicle to fill this in. And my system defaults to discard old parts but we can select to return them to the customer by clicking this radio button. Your selection will print in red type on the repair order and on the technician's worksheet. So let's click the Next button. Now if there are recommended services in this vehicle's record from previous visits, the Recommended Services screen will appear listing those recommendations. This is your opportunity to remind your customer of these and add it to the work they're requesting for their appointment, essentially upselling your job. Just check in the Select column and add it as a problem or request. And if there were a bunch of recommended services and they wanted to do them all, you could use the Select All button below and just click Next. If there weren't any recommended services in this vehicle record, you would not see this screen, but go directly to the Reason for Services screen. So here, under Reasons for Service, use Select their Vehicle Problem, Service Requests, or you can enter a freeform note. And be careful not to be lulled away into always using a freeform note. This is not a freeform labor like in motor tracks, as it appears under a specific note section on the RO. Selecting from the list of vehicle problems or vehicle requests for service is faster once you get the hang of it. And remember, you can always add or edit to these preloaded descriptions. So let's click the Add Vehicle Problem button. So here are all the vehicle problems in the system. 
By clicking a category on the left, you can narrow the results to choose from. Click on a problem. And note here, you can add information from the customer specific to this vehicle and as much as you want. Click OK and it's added to the appointment. Same for the request for service. Just click Add Request. And these Edit and Delete buttons here are to open the master record for this reason for service. And you can change it permanently in the system or delete the request altogether. And the last one, Add a Free Form Note, is just a section for you to enter a note. Click the Finish button and this saves your appointment to the service counter and changes the schedule to the date of that appointment. Just click the Today button in the upper right to return to today's schedule. And this concludes the lesson on Make an Appointment.